an irrevocable asset protection trust, this is really only useful for if you're old and you're facing long-term care expenses, maybe applicable to parents or grandparents if you have that. It's an irrevocable trust. So once you put money into the trust, you can't get it back out. Whereas the one we were talking about a minute ago is revocable. You can undo it. You can take all the money out. You have complete control over the assets. The irrevocable trust does protect your assets in that once you put money into it and a certain amount of time goes by, then your creditors can't come get that. So if you're in a nursing home, the money's protected. You don't have to spend it on your long-term care. Again, not very appropriate for most people unless you're in a certain situation. Um, it, you know, the thing to look at even if you're in your 20s or 30s or 40s is long-term care insurance. Uh, you know, if you end up someday, we're all going to need some amount of care, I would imagine. Uh, and long-term care insurance gives you a lot more flexibility in where that care is and uh, what kind of facility you want to be in and what do you want to spend it on and so forth, right? Otherwise, you end up doing some kind of asset protection trust and trying to, to, to take care of that. The other thing that's, that's somewhat applicable to younger folks is the life insurance trust. So back to my example, we've got a lot of life insurance because I've got four little kids. I actually have a life insurance trust and so does my wife. So instead of me having the life insurance, my wife is the trustee of my life insurance trust. And my life insurance policies are in that trust that she's in control of. And as long as I have no ownership or control over the life insurance policies that are on my life, it's not part of my estate for tax purposes. So when you're adding everything up to figure out what the tax might be, the life insurance is ignored. And likewise, I'm the trustee of the one for my wife with all of her life insurance. Right? Again, uh, if you're nowhere near the $10.8 million limit for estate tax, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, you know, again, adding in the life insurance, unless you live in a state like D.C. or Maryland that has a, an estate tax at a lower limit. Right? Uh, but we used to set up a lot of these when the limit was like a million dollars tax-free and above that, because by the time you have a house and a retirement account, whatever around here, and some life insurance for your little kids, it's easy to get over a million dollars. Right? So uh, not as applicable these days, but sometimes I still set those up.